In this video, we'll look at how to enter measurements in SketchUp. I can click on the rectangle and just eyeball sizes, and these tooltips tell me when I have specific proportions, like the square. However, if I want this to be a specific size, I'll click, for example, 5 foot symbol, comma, 5 foot symbol, enter, and that makes it 5 feet by 5 feet. If I didn't put the foot symbol, what I would get, 5, comma, 5, is 5 inches by 5 inches, because the default for SketchUp dimensions is inches. What if I wanted a square, and by the way, I'm going to make a second click, and as long as I don't click on any other tool or orbit, I can type new dimensions and the square will adjust. What if I want it to be 5 foot 6 inches? I'll type 5 foot symbol 6, comma, 5 foot symbol 6, enter, and it will adjust accordingly. If I want the square to be 5 foot 6 and a half inches, I'll type that. 5 foot 6.5, enter, and I'll verify the size by clicking the tape measure tool onto it. Click, click, well I didn't click, I just hover it over the other endpoint, and you can see it is five foot six and a half inches. I could also enter fractions, for example, five foot ten space three-quarter inches, comma, five foot, ten space, three-quarter inches, enter, and let's verify it with the tape measure. One thing about the tape measure, make sure you're seeing the dot dot plus, because that means it's in measuring mode, as opposed to scaling mode. Click, hover over the other endpoint, and you can see it's 5 foot 10 and 3 quarter inches long. And there you have it.